Okay, so I am going to be replacing a reluctor wheel on a crank. Uh, this is actually a test run crank that I have. Um, that is the crank I'm going to be replacing. I'm going to go from a 24X crank to a 58X crank. Um, noticing that everything online, people are like, ah, oh, draw some scribe lines in it, which I'm still going to do. Uh, I'm going to scribe it uh, in a few places. But the tool is 250, 270, something along those lines to do it. I decided I had an old flywheel laying around. I was going to make my own. Now, the point, the piece that I'm pointing to right there, that's actually indented in, you can see it sticks through the bottom of the reluctor wheel. It is a very tight fit. Actually, started out as a small socket attachment for an impact. Uh, as you can see, this one that I welded on is slightly longer than the one I have in my hand. But, so I welded it on. I took a socket. And I slightly had to ripe it with just a little bit of Teflon tape just to make it a um, interference fit. Or uh, just very tight fit without it being complete interference. And it is a 932nd socket and the hole here the alignment hole it fits in it goes in you can see it there then you have to push it and then it lines in the best part about that socket it has a slight taper um, you can see how the socket tapers up about right here where i'm pointing um, and it actually centers in the flywheel so now i have an indicator that will perfectly align this. So when you take it off, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed here. You take it off, everything. Let's see if I can do this without knocking the crank over. Let's see, I'm gonna do two hands. So I'm just lift up. Oh, the crank's trying to go over. There we go, save the crank. And that's what you have there. Just slightly well done. I did. It did have a little sleeve around the end that I just had to slightly grind. Um, let's see, there we go. That grind. I just put it in a drill and uh, rotated it on a flapper wheel so that it kept everything nice and nice and square. But when you put it back on, everything goes on there. Slides right on in, and then you just take your pin. Push it right in. And now you have a reluctor wheel that is perfectly aligned where it came off. Um, yeah. So I'm going to scribe some lines, do a few other things. But I figured I'd make this short video just to give people an idea. You can do it without buying a $250, $270 tool. And make it pretty simple.